in this video we're going to build a simple smart contract which will count the number of nft okay so let me show you what we're going to do here so let's come here and i'm going to take this contract and i'm going to give the name to this contract is count nft count okay so that's the name i'm going to give i will take a straight variable i will make it public so i can easily be able to see the value and i will take number of nft okay so this is the state variable I have taken and now i will create this function this function will increment the nft number okay so i will create this function and i will call add nft in that we're not going to pass anything we just want to increase the nft count okay so it will be become public because anybody can call this function okay and we want to simply update this nf plus one so here what we are doing we are taking the number of nfts and we are adding one to that okay so whenever someone will call this function it will keep increasing that nft count okay so that's the add nft function we have now let's try it one more function this will allow us to decrease okay delete the nft delete the nft count by one okay so it will say delete nft again it become public so anybody can call it and minus one so right now we are making it public so anybody can call but in the real world application you do should always check for condition that the one who created the nft they have they have the rights to delete the nft only or maybe the moderator or maybe the owner of the smart contract have the authority to delete any kind of information from the smart contract okay but right now i'm just giving you this simple example we're going to build certain logics around this in the later videos okay so this is for the deleting and now let's write one more function which allow us to see the number of nft we have created okay to fetch the data of this number of nft okay you can do it by this using the public keyword but it's nowhere but it's never a good idea that you should make it public this sensitive information you should always try to retrieve data from with the help of function okay and allow certain condition on that so only certain people a certain authority authority individual can have the access of this information okay so let's write the functionality for that so i'll say check total number of nft okay we'll write the function we'll say check total nft public view and the reason why we have used view here because we want to see the state variable okay we have a detailed discussion on this view keyword that why we use view keyword and what kind of operation we can do with the help of view okay so make sure to use view and then we have to return this because we want to see the data okay and here we go to pass the data type that what we want to exactly return and here we're going to use this return keyword okay return keyword and we're going to pass this number of nft okay so these are the three function we have written which allow us to check the nft count which allow us to add nft and delete nft okay hope things making sense to all of you that's why i have included this one more small sample smart contract project so you guys can understand that how things are taking place okay so that's looking pretty good and now we can start testing this one come here and let's try to delete the old deployment and this is the this is the account i'm going to take and i'm going to take this account number third okay and now let's deploy the contract you can see this is the deployed contract if we open it here we have all the functionality so if we click on this right now we have this zero balance if you click on this check total we have less we have zero we have nothing in there if we click on this still we give it the, the zero because here we have used the public keyword so it's create a getter function so that's what it is now if you click on this if you come here you can see the transaction event successful and if you click on this check total here we have one if you click on this here we have one if you click one more one two no matter how many time you will click it will keep increasing the number okay and click the number okay and deleting increasing deleting and this one is a very important functions in smart contract because sometimes what you have to do is you have to keep a track of certain ids you have to delete ids or you have to add ids so these kind of function play is a very important role which allow you to create new id for every single logic which you want to build or every single condition you want to build okay so that looks pretty fine you can see we can delete we can add and this contract is absolutely working fine okay so if check add nft so all these looking is fine we're going to have detailed discussion of this unt data type function pure public return so we'll have a detailed discussion on these okay i just want to give you a more practical example so you guys can understand that what are the possible things you can do okay and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have found this video valuable if you are still any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section so we can discuss on that so let's move to the next video